So sometimes you may wish to override the save button for whatever reason. For example, you want to add a custom validation code that is executed when we click on the save button or for something else. The way that you would do it is you would add it in the metadata file for a given view. So in this case, it's inside the edit view devs. And the way that I do it is using the following syntax. So you can add this directly into the array here. This is essentially the same thing. Uh, but this avoids um, all of the searching for where's the template matter, where's the form, where's the buttons, how do I add this? So just by declaring it like this separately, it becomes uh, easier to manage. So this is the custom save button. And what I did is I attached the validation code to it. Uh, and this code is fired on click. So when we click the button, it's going to pass the, uh, the validation and the validation is stored inside the edit view file, which is view.edit.php. So just a quick example here is we extend the view, we override the display method, and then we add our custom JavaScript and then we echo our JavaScript. So this is, this is actually not validation code per se. I just show a loading screen. So uh, but it gives you an example. So instead of showing, showing the loading screen, you may wish to show to perform some validation. Another thing that's useful also is uh, adding a cancel button. So a cancel button is removed when you add a custom save button. So that can be a bit of a pain. So the way that I did it is I basically have the syntax here. By the way, action C is the name of the view. So edit view is action C. And I, uh, so key is custom code and the value is going to be the markup of the cancel button. So I literally just right clicked and did inspect in Chrome and I copied the markup and I pasted it here as the value for the custom code key. And this added the cancel button on the screen. So if we click on the cancel button, it's a fully functional button does what it's supposed to do. And if we click the save button, it's also a fully functional button. I'll give you an example here, 38. It's going to show us a loading screen. So normally loading screen does not show up by default, but I attached it because it's like a long running operation. So that's something that's, uh, that's very useful. If you found the video helpful, please leave a like. I'll also leave a link to, the, to this syntax here. I'm going to put it on a forum so you can copy it and uh, do subscribe if you found this helpful because more of these videos will be coming up. Thanks.